The walls came tumbling down as construction crews hauled away the debris, making way for the newest building underway on the Dixie State University campus. Well, the Science, Engineering, and Technology Building, it's going to be about a $52 million building. The state funded $50 million of that, and uh, we're so grateful because the, the legislature is recognizing the growth of Dixie State University. And so not only did they help us fund the Human Performance Center, but now we have the Science, Engineering, Technology Building. This will help us uh, fill a huge need. It's probably one of the most innovative designs for active learning, active life. There'll be 26 laboratories and eight classrooms. It'll be somewhere around 120,000 square feet. So it's a, it's a big building with the, that'll have lots of impact on the science and engineering programs at Dixie State. The new building replaces an older facility which recently housed the performing arts and even a campus daycare center, which were moved to other locations. The newest addition will focus on students going into the healthcare field as well as engineering and modern day technology. The impact that it will have on workforce is tremendous. We know that we need more nurses and doctors and physical therapists. We know we know we need more individuals in the tech area and this building is really focused on producing those types. Of professionals. Peterson hopes the university's technology pipeline, which funnels into youth, will provide a much needed workforce predicted for the future. And now we have over 10,000 K-12 kids in pipeline activities at the university. And so that's, that's a big, big change over the last seven years to go from, you know, a few hundred in activities to over 10,000. And those, and those kids are getting experiences in all aspects of STEM. While most of the funds are already in place for this building, the university will still have to fundraise for $2 million of the project. President Williams said we should start seeing the footings take hold soon. The construction fence is up, they're on site, they're putting their construction trailers, and, and I think we'll start hearing a lot of construction noise here in the next few weeks. Dean Peterson believes it's a huge investment for the entire state of Utah. As you invest in, in significant and meaningful resources, uh, I, think, I, I think that's going to pay out well by way of talent in the future. Great examples of that are soft cell in the biotech space. You're seeing a lot of uh, activity within that. Uh, within the community, you have precision genomics, so you'll see new things happening in the Internet of Things space and in the robotics space and in the mechanical engineering spaces that are that are very interesting and meaningful and I think those things will, will really impact the community in a positive way as well. The current Snow Science building next door will still be utilized. The new set building will be open and ready for business in the fall of 2021. From Dixie State University, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.